You see this towel? That's me throwing it. Okay, well, I'm not quite ready to throw in the towel yet, but half an hour ago, this car was going on eBay and I was going to give up, um, but I'm having a slight step back and I thought, actually, what, what best thing to do is fire up the video, share my, share my concerns and moans and grumbles with you guys and then wake up tomorrow is another day. It's just frustration. I wanted to, to do a video later on today of showing genuine progress. You know, there's been, there are issues I've got to show you, um, sort of backward steps and things I'm stuck on. Um, there has been a lot working on this 406 of me just sat there sort of contemplating life and just sat there looking at a part thinking, what do I do now? Because I am the most amateurish mechanic you'll come across, but I was determined if I was going to have a big fleet of cars, I was determined to do as much of this as possible as on my own, or at least myself with help. And um, so I, I've got created a rod for my own back. Um, but the example is today. I came out today and thinking I could, because I want what I wanted to say to you today was three where three wheels are done. So the brakes and the suspension and the um, everything to do with three wheels will be done today. So because the near side rear. Brakes, all new. New discs, new calipers, sorry, new discs, new pads, all cleaned up, ready to go. Same with the other side, brilliant. Um, near offside front isn't done, for reasons we'll come on to in a second, but I figured this will be an easy job. I can get the near side front done. There was, there was one problem, is that the, well, last weekend, I couldn't do the caliper rewind because this doesn't fit the Brembo four pot calipers. So I had to invest or invest just buy a um, different rewind tool. And this is, this is superb actually. However, this is the front near side caliper. One piston went straight back with ease. I'll just notice that that doesn't look good, does it? That's going to need redoing. So this side went in beautifully. This side refused, refused to budge and it was sort of, I'm in an R in, obviously this was hanging really, so it was hanging, well I had it in my hand, it was not attached to the car anymore. Um, this one refused to go in, I'm sure someone's going to point out that that needs, <laughs> that needs replacing, so that's another little job. Um, but it took me ages to realise, to work out, actually I could double up, so I took one of these, I can't remember which one it was, I think it was this one, or I think I used that one as well. So I sort of doubled up with, with this, and then it went back in. However, just as it had gone in, the brake pipe snapped, which is what is exactly what it's done on the other side, although the other side was already snapped. Really. This side um, has gone an hour ago, less than that. The other side already gone. Um, so I've already got, for the other side, the new pipe. And obviously that, that's that screwed in there, and this goes in the car. However, on the other side, let me just, I can't show you the other side because the wheel's back on, but I can sort of demonstrate it or highlight it using this side on so obviously that sits in there but on the other side this refuses to budge everything I've tried I've even got one of those flare nut spanners now nothing will get this off um, so I'm, I'm in two mind that and I was desperately trying to avoid it happening on this side I mean obviously it's rusty anyway so I don't think it was long for this world so actually I don't think I think you know, it's not a bad thing, it's happened. But my worry now, and it's a big worry, is am I gonna get this off? Because on the other side, I'm now contemplating doing the entire brake pipes through the engine bay. And that doesn't look like fun because on the other side, I've come to the conclusion and I'm, please forgive me, or no, sorry, please forgive me. That's, that's a Brian Adams song. Um, please correct me, but I think the only way I'm gonna do it now is to angle grinder this off and redo the whole thing. And obviously this clamp is part of the car. It's all welded to the car, so I really don't know what to do. And this is an example of when I get out of my depth because I am the biggest amateur on YouTube um, and I've got ideas above my station. We're disappointing though, because I wanted this wheel to be on today and I wanted to say, look, we've got three wheels out of four. That's it, we're on two wheels out of four, which isn't the progress I wanted. So yes, yeah, so we'll I'll put that down there for another day. I just want to do a little shout out for Ultra Grime. <laughs> they obviously think I'm the dirtiest YouTuber on YouTube because um, they sent me three packets of gar garage 
or garage cloth wipes. These are great, actually. Clean your hands up in no time at all. I'm not being paid to say this, but thank you ever so much, guys. You might want to send some tissues next time to wipe away my tears. Um, where are we? So, yeah, 406, lack of progress and excuses and... And a, and a kind of guarantee that it's not going to be done by the 1st of first of August as planned, which is disappointing. An example of it really is, is this. I'm, I was feeling quite proud of myself, I'm quite pleased with myself, because she's now got a new alternator, thanks to two YouTube channels, which I'll um, link to in the bottom, and also to the 406 Owners Club, sorry, 406 Coupe Owners Club. I managed to take the old belt off, um, remove the air conditioning pump which obviously sits I mean I keep saying obviously but it's not obvious unless you know is it I managed to take it's so wet I'm not going to get under there I've probably got some pictures I can overlay you can just see the air conditioning pump there so remove the air conditioning pump uh, after having moved the pipes out of the way remove the old alternator yes victory is mine you bummer yes and dropped a new alternator in I think you can just about see the shiny new alternator there and I was feeling very very pleased with myself um, there was a slight delay because I had to order a new belt because I wasn't because the three belts came up on auto dock and I'm sure experts or proper youtubers would know instantly which belt to get but because there were three different sizes I wanted to take the old one off to realize that I need the 1600 which is um which is now on it actually the old one's not not too bad I mean it's it makes sense to do it there, is, there are some slight bits of wear in it but it made sense to to redo it and it was going really really well yesterday the belt's back on um the tensioner we have put the tensioner back on just as we were tightening the top belt on the tensioner literally the last turn snapped and now the <laughs> can't believe it the actual bolt is actually stuck well half the bolt because it snapped in half half the bolt is now in the clamp or the little, I don't know what you call it, it's, it goes up and down, doesn't it, to, to, for the tensioner. It's now stuck in there. So I've given it to my, my mate Ross. Hello, Ross, and the builder, who's hopefully going to screw it out. Um, but it's just another example of this car doing its best to fight me. And the days like today when you think, really? Really? Is this all worth it? Of course it's worth it. And there's the pipe, by the way, which I'll need to consider if I'm going to redo it. I don't know. Again, please tell me in the comments or drop me a line if you think I'm being ridiculously stupid to even contemplate that. Um, I'll be glad. I'm all ears, as Gary Lineker probably will not say on match of the day tonight. Um, obviously, England are playing Italy tonight. Um, there is some good news. <laughs> well, good news in, in a respect. Because Grill Beat Mesh. If you're on Twitter, you'll know if you follow me on Twitter at Major Gav, or I don't know if it was Petroblog's account or whatever, but um, thank you, Ulrich, for um, suggesting the grill and where to get the grill. I managed to find one in Eastern Europe again. Most of my parts for the 406 seem to come from Eastern Europe. Um, it's, I mean, it's new stock. I mean, it's not perfect, but then the car isn't perfect. And you'd have to look very closely to realise something like that. There's a little few scratches there. But it's hidden away under the car anyway. And you know what? I'm really, really pleased we made that decision as a, as a group because even if I decide to go mesh one day, at least I've got an original grill because it won't be long before these are obsolete. And so it got that in the bag. So that's, that's really good. Um, so, yeah, I'm ordering, thanks to Club Petrol Blog's discount, I'll be ordering four Falcon tyres uh, next week. So they'll be on. Um, and I still need to order, well, I still need to do the air filter. I've got, I've got the Volvo scoop. I don't know if I mentioned that on the video, but I've got the Volvo scoop. I now need to get the actual filter. And then I've got the small matter of just, bear with me while I, while I zoom around. I've got the small matter of putting the exhaust back on. All the, all the rubbers are, have perished. I need to buy some new rubber brackets. Um, so, yeah, I know. Thank you for my... Thank you for the people who told me that my rear parcel shelf, or rear shelf, not really a parcel shelf, has um, faded. That is the least of my worries at the moment. Um, oh, it's frustrating. I don't want to throw in the towel. Um, 
But it can feel like a lonely place when you're in the middle of nowhere with no rece- no mobile reception, no Wi-Fi, and you sat here thinking, why am I doing this? And I, and as I said, I made that decision a few months ago that I would just concentrate on this um, and just get this done. And it's taking too long. And I, I really apologise because I know people would think this should be on the road by now. And you're absolutely right, it should be on the road by now. I've only got myself to blame. Um, who would have thought that launch, being involved in the launch of a new classic car magazine would take so much time um so i guess really i need some i need to, i need a g up i need a bit of encouragement to keep going i need i don't need hobnob i need virtual hobnobs um and any help and advice on those pipes at the front what should i do um because let's get this car on the road it's not gonna be august the first maybe we can aim for september the first maybe i should stop giving myself deadlines oh by the way haven't you bought a new battery as well so she's you know it's so close it's so close i think that's it Thank you for watching. Stay safe.